Okay. Nicodemus, Nicodemus, hiya, 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 you okay? There's a good dog, aren't you? Nicodemus, good dog. I think this is John's son, I'm not absolutely sure. Silly old thing. Too much for an old fellow like you, John. Be working sheep dogs. anywhere without these three are we? Yep. Well even Boswell's got his head sticking out. He's getting very brave. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
The beginning of the barbecue. Getting ready for the food. Ready, go, Helen. <laughs> Ready, erase to your mum. Helen, what do you do? Ready, on your knees. Wait a minute, wait a minute. On your mark. No. Get up with a light, eh? On your mark. Get up with a light, eh? Go! Helen, show me how you go across the bars. Hello. No, I've A ball shot or a football shot? <laughs> Hi, I am from the Hi. um Hi. 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 Magic trick, Uncle Fred. It's nice, it's well, I don't know. It's a bit like a deck chair. You never know whether you've got it right. <laughs> the only thing you have to do is, is this. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 
Oh, yeah, I was thinking so. <laughs> 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 just say she fits right in, Glenn. Tommy, he doesn't know what he's doing. Again, please, Paul. It's <laughs> big enough. <laughs> smile at Paul like that, I am not quite sure. <laughs> Look at that, it's gorgeous that. <laughs> yeah, that is. You love me, aren't you? A deacon? Yeah, you are dancing, dancing. You're getting too heavy to dance on your mum. Oh. Then at the beginning, you dance on the park. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, as well as other people. Come on, sweetheart. That's gorgeous. Go on, get his legs! Get his legs! Die for his legs! Die for his legs! Come on, Rachel, help her! Oh, oh heck! Oh, heck! Auntie Jill, look at that over there. You could get a good picture. Oh, he's put it down now. Yeah, don't think I can do that without dropping you. No. And then when you see yourself on the video, madam, you find out whether you're an elegant eater, you know, or not. You know, cut it up very small, show off the small delicate <laughs> Well, it'd be all right if we didn't keep getting Glenn's legs on it. <laughs> That's it, Pat. At least somebody acknowledges me. I like that. There's something floating about, like floating gristle or something. Bread. <laughs> going to say you look a good pair, Mum. You with your glasses on the head and her with the dummy in the mouth. No, you do it. She looks at me all the time and then as soon as I put the video on. Move Mr. Try Harder, please. That's better. My mum did the potatoes. Well, what kind of potatoes we Works up, Norwich. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, what a face, Victoria. Because they're really nice. Cheeky. 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 Chee
Yeah, that's the best way than just doing it. Yeah, yeah. 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 I can put it in the I don't feel quite weak, but just like coming back in. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Oh, it's really nice. Are you doing contracts for firms? Or? Oh. Victoria. Oh, yeah. We're running for a couple of spots. The one, two, three. Victoria. But this that I do is. Um, oh. It's a nice bit of pocket money, and I like doing it anyway with big stuff. So. Mm -hmm. Did you <laughs> I'm going to do a sex with the boat. Is this somebody you met on the road? I'll explain it in a minute, that's it. Um, yeah, it is actually. Well, no, not actually on the road. It's uh, a mutual oh. friend. Oh, right. He was just short of the driver one day, so when he said, oh, when he gives no over, he's got his class one. And it went from there, so it was quite a bit. Raising through him, then. I don't think they have barbecue chicken legs. Just that. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't get it. You like that. They have to be a motor mechanic to put it up, that's only. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's never finished. It was only a top, it's a top in it. One screw in it all. Because we're going to want it. Excuse me, who's the star? Sorry. Ah, but no, this is sure. Thanks very much. Mary, why did you only have to ask you? I didn't like asking. Oh, back and window. You're not side window as well, or just back. Why haven't we got up for now? You don't really need to. Why haven't we got up for now? 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 Why haven't we got Oh, oh, they're not made over here. We're not made in France. Like this one. It's a with her ice cream on. It's oh. going. It's here. Oh, that's a Oh, is it nice? Oh, it's cool. Oh, okay. Watch, Helen, now they don't shoot. What have you been doing, Adele? What's that? Tell him yellow card. Yellow card. It could have been a professional just <laughs> 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 her wedding day. Now over to the bridesmaid. Well the bridesmaid. Oh no the bridesmaid's waking up. She's got a bit of a problem with her dress. Could the bride help out please? Oh dear that's an usher getting in the way. Oh he's gone to sleep the usher. What a beautiful bridesmaid we have here. Oh, very nice. Oh, beautiful wag of the tail. Could we have a picture of the bride with the um, bridesmaid, please? A picture of the bride with the bridesmaid. That's very, very nice.
the bride and the bridesmaid ready for the wedding. Here comes the bride, all dressed in white. I'll hold you. You had the pretty look, Dad. Helen, have you have you finished giving Uncle Glenn all the money? No. Now, how much money has he got now? Loads. Loads. Got enough for our holidays. Do it for me. You won't go any further back. Henry. Go on, Henry, get back. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> your bridesmaids, Henry, your bridesmaids Henry, collapsed. This way. Yeah. Uh, I think the bride's having slight problems with the bridesmaid. Can you just get the seat? Seat, Father. Henry, need to be right down at the back. Right, Auntie Jill, can you just do my hair? <laughs> Here comes the bride, all dressed in white. <laughs> Burger and chips and Bobby You don't like that, do you, Helen? Here we 
there, Rachel going to jump in the swimming pool. Alright, Rachel. Woo. Right, blobby, 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 jump. Here we have Mrs. Blobby and Baby Blobby. Are we ready? Blobbity, blobbity, blobbity. No, no, try again. Blobbity, blobbity. Blobbity blob then. Blobbity blob. She knickers, madam. Yeah. I think you might have to hold that on while you jump, otherwise it'll come off your head. Oh no, it might not, because you're not going underneath, are you? Blobbity blob. Blobbity blobbity blob. Jump. Jump. This is how Wood Hall girls come for the day. For the game and country fair. This is getting ready for the muck run. Just discussing what the uh, technicalities of the course are. <laughs>
Good dog, Henry. <laughs> and it just said the legs worse than Henry, I can't believe it. Well done, Sue. Well done, Sue. <laughs> Good dog. Good. I don't think Maiden's gonna do this. Yes, I did as well from that box. Look at my energy. It's amazing, isn't it? What's all the best with this, isn't it? Oh. I'll just go for a sniff now. I don't even for this. <laughs> you bone eyed animal. But at night, he can only absorb two and a half times more light than our eyes. Which means he can't. We can only need of seeing that mouse only, but to hear it. Now, boys and girls, mum and dad, I'm afraid if you like to help me, put your hands up. Hey, I love you. I'll grab this hand up and go, come on, so go. Now when it comes to you, I wouldn't get to give you some of this, right? And what we have to do, because to solo to see better in the dark, it's not very hard, guys. Lift your hands up. Shout out. Come on, solo! Come, shake your head! Oh my god, she hates pigeons. I don't know how she's doing this. She hates pigeons, so I don't know how she's doing this. I really don't. Well, if you get a grip, place your hand on your head. Then she can grip enough to support the back of the white face. Immediately, one fast one. Go! Ellie! Back up, Billy! Jake! Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, the Harry Falls. Actually, oh, Jill, are you managing that? Ellie, and how about you this young lady, Well done, thank you for helping me, Jill.
Did that hit your head then? <laughs> oh, God, it hit me on the head. <laughs> Number 21, where Jill and Glenn came to live in 1988, just after they got married. They lived here for about six years, six and a half years. Yeah, I did tour of 21 Thorn Road. Let's go through the front door and see what we find. Here we have the hall and the stairs. As you see it as we come through the front door. The hall we continue through into the lounge. If we come through the hall and into the lounge, you can see this is the fireplace and the television where we like to sit and relax on an evening. And there's comfy chairs. into the other half of the room where we have a dining table we like to sit and entertain the lounge window, this is the view that we have of the whole lounge. And again, possibly not the best shot in the world, but if we stand at the back end of the lounge, we have the view from the other end. But yeah, doesn't it? Well, there you go. Let's continue through and have a look at the rest of the house. But not least, we have the kitchen. Where, at the moment, it's a shame that we don't have smelly vision. Because I'm just making some soup, that's why the window's all steamed up. That's my mum and dad and Paul are coming for a meal. There's the notice board without which we never have a clue what was going on. And here's a view from the other end of the kitchen. Mm -hmm, there's a soup that's boiling away there. Plate we got off Mr. and Mrs. Gardner for our wedding. And there we are. That's the kitchen from the other end. walk through now into what is our breakfast room. You can see we can sit 
watch television and look through into the back garden where we like to sit on our comfy chairs table where we have breakfast This again is the breakfast room. This is a view if you walk in from the kitchen. The table that we use in summer, a little bit the wrong time of year now. So Glenn last did his sunbathing under the tree. Henry looking after his domain. Not a very big garden. A beginner for us. Come to the other end of the garden. We can just see the back of the house. If we come out of the lounge and then go into the hall again. This is a view from the top of the stairs. So we go across and we look down the stairs towards the front door. Complete with creaky floorboards. Front bedroom where we tend to keep all our swimming stuff and running stuff under the sunbed when we're not using it. And all our books and photographs and cards, Michael Jackson albums. And then as we come down, you can see the racing bikes stored up as it's the end of the season at the moment for the triathlons. But we'll be starting again soon. Here we have a view of our bedroom. When Henry's been playing on the bed. Come round to my wardrobe. And then we have to have a look at the cupboards that Glenn made. And we very, very first moved in. This is my view of our bedroom. And we wake up in the morning. A little mascot there of my mum. Again, when I did my very first triathlon. And we'll go into the hole and the famous telly and Henry's bottom I don't know which is the most famous you can see me now, this is the spare pet bedroom as we approach from the landing better known as Rachel and Helen's bedroom and they come and stay with us let's go a little bit further little girl's room, little boy's room as soon as it's blue in this case, sink, the shower, and as we work our way around, Important thing all. I have to say, we've been very, very happy living at this house.
Is this working or is this not working? This is number 195 Manchester Road that we bought beginning of November 1995. We've not swept up here yet or cleaned up but this is the back yard garden as it were. This is the back of the house. Part of the glazed. As you walk into the house, have the best of your in the hall and um, the stairs. As you can see we put on new handles on all the doors. This is a posh view of the lounge, now it's all been done up, just go inside. We've got the velvet curtains, it's going round the room, all fairly plain, and a nice carpet to match everything else. As we go into the middle room, Oops. There we go, we have the curtains. The fire. I'll just step back a little bit, you'll be able to see the new carpet. That's the box where the fuses are and everything. Just another view. As we are in the back room, looking towards the hall. This is the kitchen. It's probably less tiling, as you can see, we're still cleaning up in here. Reasonably nice units. There we go. Look at the other end of the kitchen. This is the other view of the kitchen. As we go around, you see the units. The very old telephone. There we have the cupboard just put odds and sods in. Nothing very exciting. Just to show that we've put all new light switches in. Now we're going to go up the stairs. We're going to look at the bedrooms and the bathroom. Not an awful lot to see in here. There's a little small box room. I'm going to take you around pretty quick. There we go and that's down back into the landing. This is a view from out of the back bedroom window, normally in the garden or beyond the little shed there, usually geese, rather noisy, but quite nice really. Then we have the bathroom, not exactly the colour I would choose, but nevertheless it's quite smart, nice tiles. Let's walk in. And, uh, as well want to see the toilet of course. This is the middle bedroom. Again, not an awful lot to see really. Quite a big room, let's take you up. Nothing spectacular, all nice clean white walls. <laughs> Just a quick shot of the landing. Right, big 
with the nice cupboards for all your bedding and linen and everything. And that's a shot of the um, front bedroom, which is where we're going to go to finish. This is the front bedroom. Absolutely huge wardrobes, can't believe how deep they are. And a little cupboard here. Rather 60-ish, but nevertheless quite big. And the bed, which so much nice just to leave. And the wonderful headboard. This may not come out too well with it being facing the windows, but it just gives you an idea of what they look like. And this is just a view to finish off of what it looks like outside the front bedroom window once the windows have had a clean. It should be quite nice. That's my last job now to clean the windows. And then we're ready for Mr and Mrs Tuff to move in on the 26th of November 1995. <laughs> I've just realised this is the first time we've been out with the dogs on camcord or without baby. We would have loved it. Never mind, we've got Tess with us instead. A great day out sledging. This is Glenn with Tess. Yay! Well done, Tess. Don't know what happened to Henry. Oh, here he comes. It means I want another go, Dad. Yeah. There goes Tess, there goes Henry, and where's Boswell? Oh, he's coming back to his mum. Good dog, you're not going all that way, are you, Bazzy? No, he said, stay with you, mum. Come, Glenn with chess. <laughs> These seem really good sledges. There we go. Oh no, it's a normal sledge. Three of them on. The annual dog walk. Yeah, we get looked over. Everybody's getting organised. Counting numbers. And I think we're off. And there's John. Merlin! Merlin! 
Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Rebecca, don't really want the back of your head, sweetheart. <laughs> Oh, there we go. It's a bit chilly today. Well, there's Nick. Oh no, not not for Christmas. <laughs> Just about got everybody on. A few more coming in up the rear. <laughs> Last couple. Some of that looking where they're going. There we go. That's really got to think of prime time all the time. Hello. Some of the views on the walk. Hello. <laughs> 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 the motley crew coming down. Oh, 
She's just one of the views. Let's see, come on. And there's a monkey crew. It's a very high level. Are you alright into the sun? Stay in. If anybody falls, you're on now. <laughs> you ready? Smile, you fall. Help, Glenn, I'm coming! <laughs> Let's just go for it then. <laughs> no, you, you, you go for it on your own. <laughs> Easy, you never thought you'd see me helping somebody down a hill, did you? I'll tell you what's happening. Go, Lynn, let's get him! <laughs> What's this? Oh, yeah. Well, the camera. <laughs> Got that one. The two Lins. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I've got Lin's handbag. <sighs> what you need on a walk like this. <laughs> Go sideways down. Go step, step down each one sideways. And then on, that's it. Alright. Don't, don't. Camcorder. Right. 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 On the coffee board. Where's your spirit of adventure? Carry this one so you can hide behind it. You make out it's hard. It's actually very good. It's a lovely little view through there. Yeah. Hold my hand. Yeah. Hold my hand. There you go. And again. Come in there, Cleo. Yeah, a bit late 
This is about halfway around the walk. Just make sure we've got everybody and all the dogs and everything. Every time we switch it on a load of cars are gonna pass. This is just as we're finishing off at the pub, getting ready to set off for the last part of the walk. Early and waiting to lead us off. Anyway, I'm a bit sorry for it, so. Goodness. In those bushes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? The lady who's been struggling all the way, she had a big stick right at the beginning. <laughs> keep so momentum. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh no! <laughs> you run, you go down the locks now, it's alright, downhill. Oh, no. Let me go down, will they? Oh, okay. Yeah, you go down seven locks <laughs> from here.
I got that. Can you get three fingers? <laughs> Thank you. That's what we all said. Who's pushing here? Henry. Who is this? Who do you ask? just barge me. Just barge through. <laughs> <laughs> I get Lynn. Yeah. I bought Glenn um, for Christmas. I bought. Whoa! Did, he, did you record that? I got that. There's one born every minute, isn't there? <laughs> Is that your husband? <laughs> I'm a little bit out of breath, but here we come on the canal. The last bit of the walk. No one can be still at the front. Somebody here that's going to give me his last rollo? Oh no, he's not, it says. There we go. Cleo! That's his line now. Arms out. Arms out. Flying machine. I'm going to root for you because you're the only one here. Oh, yeah. Look at these, Henry. Not this cold and cold. I'll keep them in my pocket when it's been naughty. Henry, come on. Henry. Henry. Come on. Henry. 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 Fred Solon. <laughs> but see, you're getting quite used to it now, aren't you? <laughs> and these are the last few stragglers. This will have that gave me the approval. This is 59 George Street that we've just bought. That's the roof. The windows in quite good condition. I hope you can hear me because of the wind. This is just the little vestibule. And then we come in. the fireplace and to rip out and the cupboard Glenn's got the gas meter in there electric meter this is where we've got a problem with the damp so we can sort that out though and I think Auntie Lily would appreciate a light fitting the ceiling. Come back down now and we'll go through. Whoops. There we go. Into the back room or the kitchen. This is the old fire as you walk into the kitchen and the sink. Glenn tells me that they're not wood skirting boards, the cement or something. That's the door into the pantry under the stairs, the old light socket, 
switch. Oh, no light bulb in this room. And we'll just have a little peep round the corner. This is the old larder. And if I go down, you can perhaps even see the old little larder cupboard there. Gosh. This is just down under the stairs, a bit, not a little, too dark, never mind. Just the other view in the kitchen, to the back door. This is as we come out of the kitchen now, then up to the stairs. Don't know if this is too dark, this is the old light switches. And this is, oh, there we go, a bit of light. This is the stairs. I'm going to go up the stairs, up in the bedrooms and the bathroom. So it's just a quick view around the landing. Not really a lot to see. We'll go into the front bedroom. A lovely shade of pink. Here we go. Nice curtains. Not going to let Aunt Chalma get hands on those. Here's the nice wallpaper. There we are, that's where they've decorated round the wardrobe. Some of the old ladies' belongings still. The scruffy old carpet. And this is all reflect, but the nice leaded windows, and that's the view from the window. Come round, Auckland, left the door open. And mind, you'll see this is the wardrobe. How wonderful the door is. Push it to my foot. Oops. That's the wardrobe and the nice fireplace. I think we're going to leave that in. I think it might be quite a nice feature. There we go, that's the bedroom. We'll go into the other bedroom. This is the wallpaper on the other bedroom. And again, the wonderful carpets. The only decent thing is the bed, and we don't get that. And the windows. Nice, nice, oh, there we go. Nice bit of door handle there, see? See so what? That's back into the landing there. And we'll just go and look in the bathroom. There you go, there's the candlelight switches we've got. I'm just going to hold oh, they've got some things in here. I'll just have to be careful, hang on. This is the bathroom. I'm having to work round here. This is the airing cupboard because they've got some things still in here. There we go, it's not in bad condition. And don't get round, that's the toilet. Yeah, I can just sneak round enough. Look at that wallpaper. And there's the sink. A bit old fashioned, but all in good condition. I'm going to really enjoy myself getting this washable wallpaper off. And look at the ceiling, oh we nearly missed that. Wonderful. There we go. This is the backyard. Need that gate. Just not trip up. Hang on. This is the toilet I think outside. Don't think we'll be going in there somewhere. Hang on. And that's the back of the house. a week and cleansing his element uh, with his new moustache and it's just about to get through the attic. One more time. Here he goes. Let's go and have a look at the rest of the house. This is now as you come in through the front door you see where Glenn's been doing the wiring. Oh my goodness, I don't know what that was. Here we go, chiselling out to put the uh, sockets in. That's the fireplace that we've taken out. Oh, we stood the board in front of it. Such a great big hole behind there. And the cupboard where the meter is. And this is where we need to be doing the damp proof course. What a mess. This is where the chandelier was. I think this is far better taste. And this wall here, as you can see, is full of like, looks like bullet holes. To 
apparently it's where there's been rust in the original plaster and as the rust has expanded it's pushed the plaster out I had a bit of filling work to be done there this is going through into the kitchen look we're now minus the wall this is what Roy's knocked out this morning uh, I can zoom in I don't know if we can see you can actually see up and through to the bathroom there I just hope it doesn't fall down on my head this is where the nice old fireplace was that apparently was all rusty that's been pulled out big holes in the floor here which I've got the nice back door though Glenn's been doing the lighting and I've been doing the stripping we just bought a kitchen as well so this will all be coming out ready to go in and this is the kitchen from the other angle at the moment so I always pull the walls out it doesn't half make the kitchen a lot lot bigger still got the old switch in the wall there there we go oh I have to get this on a little dog just a few of the sacks, Glenn's already taken some to the tip and the bricks from knocking the wall down and the old fireplace whoops there we go rather rusty it's not going to be much use to anybody that so I just want to see we've even got a tidy backyard at the moment it's a little bit lighter today this is the old sockets I was trying to show last time and then putting the wire in through, don't know what he's doing there, killing himself. And this is the wallpaper, it's a, been a pick to get off. Coming off in a little bit, it's taking the banister rail off for the time being. And Glenn's just rewiring there to put a new switch in for the bathroom. And the hall. It's presently the uh, front bedroom. Oh, I'm trying to get this in. There we go. Glenn's got the floor boards up and the lighting. Just starting to strip this room today. And see Glenn put the wiring in here. I'm just about to start stripping. Oh, this bit of wallpaper. Pull back a bit. There we are. And this is where we're starting to strip it out. And the fireplace into the wardrobe and this is the soot that's come down the chimney which is right into the fireplace and there we have it here we have the back bedroom this is where the bed was and floor boards up still I stripped all this a bit more rewiring going on there and there you can see the colour of this wonderful door. Didn't notice that before, you see. And Glenn minus his head. Not worth it, Glenn. Don't do it. Don't jump. And last but not least, this is the bathroom. I've got some of that wonderful wallpaper up and done the ceiling. Oh! Just can't quite reach those few tiles over the bath, but. We'll get round to it. Lovely light still in see. No wiring. Excellent. And then coming round again. There we go. What a mess. Never mind, we're getting there. Here we are. Here we are back in the um, house. This is the end of the second week. As you can see, we've had the damp course fitted in there. It's all new pieces. Coming around. We finished the fireplace. It's all plastered up. These are the pipes for the central heating. Just come in now. Just about to put it up. All 
sockets are in, plastered up, ready for the electricity to be turned over. So I left the old wallpaper on. To the kitchen now. Again, you can see where we re plastered up there and cut the chimney off. And the wall has gone, of course. And everything's been plastered up, including the ceiling. the back bedroom where everything's done for the lights and the new floor, all floorboards are up because the central heating is going in today so it's just working on that now this is going to have to be all replastered as well here it's all falling off before and after here's David the plumber doing his bit hello mom <laughs> <laughs> Put in the gas pipe in coming from downstairs. All the lighting sockets are in and lighting fittings are in. And that's it really. The bathroom hasn't been touched, apart from being stripped at the moment. Beginning of the uh, fourth week, the 28th now, uh, there's a new light switch and uh, we've got the central heating partly in. And cleansed to all the fireplace, and where we had all the damp, now had the damp proof course done and cleansed, plastered the whole of that wall. There we go, got a new light. Just need a light shade now. The cupboard's still the same, that's been sorted out today. And there we are, the damp proof course a little bit better now, isn't it? Huh? This is the back kitchen, no wall, no holes in the ceiling, all been done. And if we carry on down, we haven't even got any holes in the floor now. The dog having a drink, the sink's coming out today. And I've knocked all the plaster off where there was obviously an old cupboard there. And that's going to be replastered today as well. From the other end of the kitchen, this is where the pantry was. We're going to replaster all that. This is where all the old light sockets were hanging out of the wall. Now down to a nice two-way switch. Would look very straight to me that. Sort that out. Not a lot to see on the stairs yet. Bannister rail still off. Just about to tackle the paintwork. There we go. In the front bedroom I've had this window out completely to sand it all down because it didn't move. See it's just wedged up with some wood that's got to go back in today. And Glenn's going to replaster all of this wall here because it's such a mess. I've now sanded down the wardrobe and the fire and the door see where the plaster's falling out there and the central heating's in in here so we're getting there now going to go into what look like the two disaster areas you can see the chimney here at the end of the room all the plaster's falling off that and it's got to replaster that up we didn't originally video inside the airing cupboard but you can see the new boiler in there now that Dave's fitted in this is the nice bath, I'm going to clean that up today. Oh, I'm going to do a lot today, aren't I? Um, and that's for the shower that we decided we are putting in. And Glenn's managed to get all that stuff off the ceiling that I couldn't reach. It's a little, little close-up shot of the state of what's fallen off that wall. And some of the big holes in the wall behind the toilet. If we just go here, you can see the metal piping here waiting for the central heating. And also the radiator in the bathroom. Another disaster area, as you can see. All the stuff's fallen off the wall again. Glenn's going to replaster that up. It's a good job it can plaster, really, isn't it? I'm just arriving back from the tip. 
with yet another load of rubbish. Still got to get rid of the bricks yet, though. Yeah, Glenn's just going to show you how easy this plaster comes off. Right, little lumps. There you go. Now you can see why it has to come off. Has it just gone down? No. Say. We're now halfway through the day. This is just a little bit of the stuff that's come out of the sink. And that's where the sink was. Can just zoom in. And see, we've just got a single tap now. And we've just used, Henry, just used our hundredth, the fourth week, I think. Yeah. Um, this is the wiring in the cupboard. This is the end of the fourth week. This is the electrics in the cupboard we're waiting for Dave to come and fit a consumer unit in for us. And we had the gas meter put in that bottom drawer. And you can see the skirting boards have gone on in this room now. Not quite finished. That's about it for in this room. These are some of the cupboards to go into the kitchen. Yeah, go on, say again now. Yeah. John doing all the work, Glenn eating the pizza. John back kindly coming to uh, fit the kitchen for us. How good of him. At least he knows what he's doing. John washes his hands as usual, just like me. To eat the pizza. There's the kitchen going in. This is the other half of the kitchen that John's not quite put in yet, but told me he's going to. Good lad he is. Good lad he is. And that's, uh, oh, that's the part of the cooker. And then that's it for down here. Here's the bath. Ben's been putting earthing wire in. You see my bath's in a good state yet again. And he's going to replumb for the sink so all this piping's coming out because it looks a mess anyway. Just put a new bottom in the wardrobe and put some sheathing in for the wiring. Looking a bit better. This is um, I was on these last Sunday, I think it's Sunday the 12th, I think it is, and I don't know if you can see, but we've now tiled part way up the kitchen, um, like so, and over here, you see we've tiled up, put the architrave on the windows, that's done, the oven's in, the oven's working, the hob's working. finished putting the um, skirting boards in there uh, under the stairs. We've had the new consumer unit in, fitted the old ones been taken out and uh, all done. Jill sanded all the cupboards down, all the walls have been plastered. Again those are the wall units for the kitchen about to go in. This wall's been plastered as well, finished. As you can see there's Henry just about to go upstairs. All of that, the whole of that wall there is completely replastered. Skirty boards on at the bottom, Jill's just put those on and she's just sanding. This room is, is actually now finished, this is the front bedroom and it's all been plastered. I only got the ceiling just to finish off, all been done. There's the bath panels, Jill's put some architraving type of thing around it, beading to just bring it out a little. Plain walls and sockets really, all been replastered to the ceiling and over. The bathroom, in here Jill with the sander. The um, tiling's been done. As you can see, the shower's in. Um, sockets up on the top. Just put a couple of tiles above the the sink. Still not sorted this problem out here. And I'm going to have to do that next. Once that's finished, 
We're halfway there, I think Joe's put some lucky trading around the window. I'll pass it up there. Sixth week, and there's not a lot in the lounge. We're just starting to have a clear out here, ready for putting uh, the wallpaper on everything. Things are just getting cleared up. On the stairs, you can see I've already done the undercoat for the paint. Everything's ready up there. So the wallpaper. Glenn's painted under the stairs, all in here has now been cleaned up, ready to start painting in here and then Paul can come down and do the wallpapering. The backyard still looks a mess as it's ever done, it's hard to show you what Glenn's been doing. Changed all the piping round in the bathroom so he's had to put a new drain pipe in there behind the ladder. This is the front room now and they've finished decorating in here so it's ready for the paint and I've undercoated the wardrobe and the fire and the door so we're looking a little bit better in here now that's where the uh, they've painted around the wardrobe before wallpapered I mean this, this is Paul decorating I oh, think that's what he's doing that's doing some bad in here now. And uh, there's all the paper ready to go on. This is Barry, he's the real worker. He's been in all day, not like Paul, who only turned up at lunchtime. There you go. And so we're getting in here done. I've undercoated the doors and everything. Ben's putting his skirting board in here down near the toilet. That looks a little bit better, doesn't it, than what we had before. There's all this new pipe work. I think I'll see it now, you see, because it's so good. Of Henry, there's the bath gone back on now with the uh, new little fancy bits that I put on. And the tiles and the shower, that's just got to have two more tiles fitted on there. And we're ready to put the shower curtain up. In the end now, uh, this is the carpet in the lounge. <laughs> There's three carpets here for the hall, landing and stairs, front room and back room. I'll show you what we're doing in the kitchen. Here's Glen brewing up yet again. What we're actually doing is putting felting down, then an underlay and then the top carpet because of the floor being, floor being stone. Gosh, I couldn't say that then. Exactly. Two months now from buying the house. This is where the chandelier was. And that's where the fireplace was. If I move round, these are now the cupboards and the drawers. And that's where the damp proof course needed doing. We've kept the same curtains, only we've shortened them. You can see the central heating and the carpets that we've put in, and the door with the brass handle. It keeps going a bit out of focus. You can see here the central heating and the door with the brass handle. We go into the kitchen, you can see where we've knocked the wall down. That's where the ladies just sink was in the old fire. Now we've got a proper units in and that's ready for somebody to put the washing machine in the fridge there. This is where we took the wall down, you can see the hob and the cooker and more units. In the central heating and the door into under the stairs. Under the stairs we've just painted white now and as you can see it's got all the clutter in just to finish tidying up. The back of the door is now white, looks a little bit better anyway. This is the stairway where there wasn't enough light before. You can see we've changed the light sockets. And if we look up the stairs, the new carpet, banister rail, and new light switches. This is now actually on the landing. Let's see what we've done to all the drawers. So at least they're all matching. This is the front bedroom, if you can remember it. All pink. 
and the way she painted around the wardrobe, we'll show you that in a moment. All new sockets in here. As you can see, we've gone for pink again. That's the fireplace all decorated now. And the wardrobe. It's a close up of the fire. And if you can remember inside the wardrobe, look, there's some things to put your clothes on there. And the inside of it. Oh, is that white? You see, I can't tell when I've got to the floor now. There we go, much better, isn't it? This is the little bedroom where all we had was the, the bed. Do you remember we said the bed was nice and everything else was a complete mess? Gone for blue in this room. And this is at the other end the door and the. Uh, I don't know how much of this we got, so we'll do it again. This is the back bedroom from the other end. You can see we've gone for blue in this room with grey carpets. Now you can see we've got nice new light switches, modern ones, with covers around them to keep it clean. And this is as we go into the bathroom. If you can remember it was a disgusting blue colour all over. Looking a little bit better now. We've gone for yellow and gold. As you can see, we've fitted a shower. It all looks very nice now. And all the brass fittings on the doors. The bathroom in that side, this cupboard, if I can show you, we've now got the central heating boiler. There we are. Pretty nifty, eh? Glenn even splashed out on a new toilet seat. She's on camera. It's near the Christmas. We've now had Cass about eight weeks. And as you can see, we're just getting organised at Christmas Eve. And we think Cass is now settling in. Uh, and Henry's well and truly settled in. As you can see, Cass and the cat are getting on just fine now. Boswell's watching the telly. Henry's got his chin on and having a nod on. And these two are just cuddling together. Look at big fat. Oh, come on! Yeah. <laughs> this is Helen doing the spice girls with her knickers showing everywhere. <laughs> Looks more like a captain out kick to me. Is that it? <laughs> I thought they want to see more knickers, that's your thing, Glenn. Molly Bouchard. Bit young, really. <laughs> <laughs> hey. You'd be too old, then. I'd be too old by then, that's the only problem. <laughs> I'd be going to see now by then. Oh, yeah. Right, is that all your moves? Yeah. Okay, give us one moment. Oh, that's it, thank you. We'll finish up. This is Jill falling asleep at Fred's and Armas oh. <laughs> on Christmas Day. In the morning. In the morning. <laughs> we've we've drunk up now completely. We've just drunk up and we're now going to have our Christmas pudding thank with you. brandy. With brandy. Thank Sauce. you. So Some of us are just going to have brandy. Cheers. Cheers yes, everyone, and here comes Alma. Oh, here we go. And she's just coming through. I'm with a photograph with the dinner. With the fair, I know. This is right. Would you like to put your map yeah, in the yeah. right place, Joe? Oh. I'm telling you, I've not got a hat on now. Oh, well, is it? It's made of wood. There we are. The finished, yeah, I, the finished item. The finished item. Is that better? <laughs> <laughs> the finished item. You saw the one eat your heart in. Thank you very much, oh, Alma. I thought it helped, didn't I? Give us a bit of